Hello, my name is Glenn. I'm with Carrier Enterprise Florida Tech Support. Today I want to speak to you about the ICM-492, when and why we might use this control. Typically it's installed on residential condensing units, single phase of course, that experience reverse rotation events of the compressor. It's very hard to catch these events while you're on site and correct the problem. The ICM-492 gives us eyes on the system when we're not there. It's very easy to install and easy to use and it's very affordable. Here is the service panel of a 25 HBC 5 condensing unit. This is a single phase residential condensing unit. Here you can see I've installed the ICM 492. Now this is live. Everything is uh, high voltage here except for the control wires but I want to explain how this is wired. Uh, you can see where I've mounted it in the cabinet. That's pretty straightforward. Here on the left, you have L1 and L2. Okay, these terminals need to see line voltage all the time. So here's my L1. I follow that down. L1, you can see, is on the uh, shunt side of the contactor. So it's seeing line voltage all the time. L2 is this orange wire. I've used an orange wire and if I follow this down it is going to the line side of the contactor. So this way we see line voltage all the time. Now the NO and COM is a switch. There's a switch between these two terminals and so all I've done is put that switch in series with my high pressure and low pressure switch wires. This pink and blue wire is from the high pressure switch and so after the high pressure switch it goes through this switch and then this wire goes to the contactor coil. <clears throat> there is one more uh, set of wires that needs to be connected for the control and that's right here. I've used yellow and brown, these two wires. And if I follow these over, I'll show you the brown wire here. is connected to my common wire nut coming from my indoor unit. And yellow is connected to Y coming from my indoor thermostat. Okay, now the control is wired and ready to use. Let's go through the settings. You use the select button to navigate through the settings. The first setting is your nominal voltage set point. So here we can adjust it up and down and we select our nominal voltage. The next one is your delay time. So in the event there's an over or under voltage problem, the unit will go into a delay and this is adjustable up to five minutes. The next one is uh, over voltage. So I can set the parameters of where I want the unit to shut down due to over voltage events. I'm gonna leave it at 10%. Next one is under voltage. Same thing, I'm leaving it at 10%. If I had a 208 application, I may set that at 5%. The next option is control. So that's these two wires I pointed out earlier. Okay, they come here. And what this does when it's on is it looks for 24 volts on Y1 and common. If it is there, then it will allow the unit to come on. So we're at control. Next one is response time. You want to set this at 0, 01. That's the fastest response time. Uh, you can adjust this up, but the fastest response time is zero one. one And then after that, it goes into the fault history. It stores up to uh, five different faults, and it'll tell you if there's a problem there so you can see it. Hopefully now, at this time, you'll have a better understanding of the ICM-492, how to wire it, how to configure it, and how to set it up so that you can protect your residential equipment for your customers. Thank you for watching this video.